A prophet and a messenger. And as we mentioned, there's a difference between a prophet and a messenger. A messenger is someone that's higher than a prophet. A messenger is someone that's higher than a prophet. And the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Idris was a prophet. And he is the first man to ever write with the pen. So writing before Idris did not exist. Until Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala taught Idris how to write. And Idris alayhi salam is the one that taught people how to write. So if you ever asked who was the first human being ever to write, was Idris. Before Idris, no one knew anything about writing. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala taught our Prophet Idris alayhi salam how to write. He used to be very quiet, hardly speaks only. Only if there's a need. Kathir al-Ta'amul contemplates a lot. You think that he's frowning always because of too much contemplating, thinking about the greatness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, no doubt. One of the first things that ever came up with at that time was the tashri' of jihad. The first prophet and messenger to call for jihad fighting in the path of Allah was Idris alayhi salam. When he saw the corruption spreading, especially among the people of Qabil, and that corruption is spreading even within the people of Idris, so Idris alayhi salam declared war against the corruption, again declared war against the corrupt people. And he prepared an army of horsemen and people walking, fighting against the people of Qabil and the corruption of the people of Qabil. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave victory to Idris alayhi salam. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, when he went on the Isra and the Mi'raj, on the journey of the Mi'raj, Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam met prophets and messengers in every heaven. And he met Idris alayhi salam in the fourth heaven. He met Idris alayhi salam in the fourth heaven. Abdullah ibn Abbas once asked Ubay ibn Ka'ab, رضي الله تعالى عنهما about this verse ورفعناه مكانا عليا and we elevated him a high position he asked him what's this about Idris so Ubay bin Kaab said that Allah سبحانه وتعالى revealed to Idris one day that Allah will give him the rewards of all the good deeds of mankind every single day over his own deeds, over his own rewards, over the good deeds of Idris, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will also give him the rewards of all the people living at the time of Idris. Allahu Akbar. And a great investment with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Idris thanked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for that. And he realized the only way to increase more rewards is to live for longer. And Idris had a good, he had a good friend of the angels. He had one of the angels, a good friend, a good companion to him. So Idris told this angel that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed to me that every single day I get all the good rewards and the deeds of all the people on the surface of this earth without my own rewards, at the top of my own good deeds. So he said, is there any chance that you could speak to the angel of death and ask him to delay my life and for me to live even longer, to get more rewards? Subhanallah, live longer and get every single day, over my own, over my own deeds and actions, I'll get the good rewards and hasanat of the other people. What a great investment. So the angel of this angel that was a good friend to Idris alayhi salam, he said, we'll see. So Idris alayhi salam went on the back of this angel and flew with him all the way to the heavens. And then he met with the angel of death. This angel, on the back of this angel Idris, this angel met with the angel of death in the fourth heaven. So this angel told the angel of death that Idris is asking 
that if you could make him live longer. So this angel of death said, now where's Idris? He said, he's on my back. So the angel of death said, Ajib, amazing. Amazing. So the angel told him, what's amazing? He said that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ordered me to take the soul of Idris in the fourth heaven. And I wondered how I'm going to do this. I asked myself, how am I going to do this? Subhanallah. Allah ordered the angel of death to take the soul of Idris in the fourth heaven. But Idris lives on earth. How is Idris going to get to the fourth heaven? So the angel of death said, amazing. Allah ordered me to take the soul of Idris in the fourth heaven. And I was amazed. How am I going to do that? And subhanallah, Allah Azza wa Jalla made it happen. Idris came with one intention. Angel of death came with another. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala only happened what he was. Only happened what he was. So Allah Azza wa Jal ordered the angel of death to take the soul of Idris in the fourth heaven. And Idris alayhi salam passed away and his soul was taken in the fourth heaven. <laughs>